it's it's a planet it's more like a ufo so first of all uh, i'm i'm calling it a ufo because it looks like none of the car and uh, i'm calling calling it a planet because it's huge in size it's a luxury lounge on wheels well there are many things that are peculiar about this car first is the shape it's an unconventional shape like i've never seen a car which has a shape so my name is abhir roy choudhury and uh, today i'm driving a toyota wealth 2020 a cb unit straight from japan I have done somewhere around 14,386 kilometers as of now. Most of it has been done on the highways. This car, when I bought it, was somewhere around 92, 93 lakhs on road, inclusive of everything, with an extended warranty. That covers the car for five years. But at that point of time, the batteries were not covered. Batteries were covered just for two years. This, this is a hybrid, not a plug-in hybrid. This charges itself while on the go. You don't need to uh, plug in the car and uh, charge the car till you're driving at 60 kilometers per hour. If the batteries are charged, is on electric, and once it crosses 60 and you are accelerating at a slower pace, the car uh, shifts to petrol. The car has one engine and two motors. Uh, the engine is a 2.5 liter Toyota petrol engine standard. and uh, it has two motors one is somewhere in 140 which powers the front axle and there is another 40 45ish motor on the rear end the car is uh, a four wheel drive but it is not a all time four wheel drive the rear motor kicks in only when uh, there is a loss of traction or something when the car feels that it it is required to bring the car back on track it automatically senses uh, depending on the road condition all these cars have uh, an off road mode till the time it's on the car has its sensors which senses if there's a uh, there's a lo lo loss of traction they have the ev mode so when your battery is charged and you're driving comfortably you can just press this and the car shifts to ev mode it will not use the engine so it will just be just be working on the motors at the point of time provided the battery is charged and you know that's not the case always like you know maybe after a whole day's drive when the battery is charged then only you can shift it and this won't go take you take you for long eventually the car will shift to petrol But once you are in ev you have a speed restriction you cannot you cannot drive above a particular speed but uh um, it does it on its own it does not once you've done it ev but ha huh, if that is a the scenario then it will show you a, a notification for example if you were to do it now it would say ev mode unavailable hybrid battery low since we have been sitting in this place for some time with the ac on the car has a pretty good mileage considering the fact that it's a hybrid it gives me somewhere around 12 to 13 on the highways and 10 on the cities considering the size of the vehicle this is a very good uh, figures that i'm getting at this point of time i got another additional battery uh, warranty done after after a year of my purchase the major problem with hybrid is the batteries if there is any goof up with the batteries then you tend to suffer a lot 93 was excluding the battery warranty but the car's warranty for 5 years battery warranty battery warranty and other costed me another 30000 and uh, i got uh, the battery's warranty extended for the next total 8 years batteries are under warranty so what does it mean uh, if the battery goes bad they are going to replace the battery that's right as responsibility right now every 5000 there is a minor service every 10000 there is a major service the minor service costs somewhere around 3 to 4000 the minor service is like uh, checking the car running through the scanners if there's any fault somewhere or not and just basic basic check up and clean top wash maybe and the major services involves the ch changing the lubes and you know checking the air filters depending on how much you've used the car so that should be somewhere around 8 to 10k not more than that actually toyota is known for being cheap on service yeah it is actually very cheap even if it's a one almost a one cr car the service is pretty much affordable anything else toyota has told you about service in terms of that what all precautions you need to take particularly because it's a uh, it's a hybrid car with a battery inside no as such there's there's nothing that i have been told from toyota that you need to be very careful about this that nothing uh, and uh, very frankly i believe the way toyota has protected the underbody and the batteries uh, there's nothing been told about not driving on the on what log data so nothing has been has been informed to me so they are pretty much confident on the product and uh, you know even i have uh, tried driving it on little not very heavy water logged area but standard water logged areas and uh, the car did absolutely fine there insurance so again insurance uh, should be somewhere around 1 1 and a half lakhs uh, with everything covered specifically the road and bike the fuel adulteration consumables bumper to bumper everything is covered the key also in this case definitely the key is also covered the key is also covered in this case Okay so let's talk about Tiptronic. First of all what is Tiptronic? How does it work? 
and then so triptonic is basically when you have a automatic car and then you can put it to manual mode and shift the gears according to your convenience like whenever you want to shift it basically because automatic you can't feel the power of the car you know the car decides what you want to do like how it wants to change its, its gears but then if you want still want to keep it that way that you want to control it you can get into that mode and you can start driving that way so you can increase and reduce the gears ideally you don't need a clutch right which is more fun also which is electronic definitely triptonic is fun but then on a daily basis when you're driving a car uh, that is uh, you know automatic is always comfortable but yeah on maybe on a weekend you're going somewhere uh, you like to have some fun you should definitely get into the triptonic so if you like my welfare review do like share and subscribe the channel thank you sir thank you thank so you much thank you so much